welcome back to High Tech Farmer, where I show the newest technologies of the oldest job. Today we're going to go through our two field cultivators on our 9Rs, make sure those field cultivators are leveled off, that way we have a nice level seed bed. So here we go. Well, we were doing some digging out there. Looks like we're actually going a little bit too deep. So now we're gonna do a little calibration here on the monitor to set the depth, make sure that's all looking good. Well, we got Dad's digger going behind me. Uh, that one's working good, got it all leveled off, got the depth set. So now we're gonna go grab the other one out of the yard, bring it out here, hopefully finish this 160 acres working it tonight. That way we can plan it tomorrow. Digger number two has made its way to the field. And here we go on folding it. This is a 46 and a half foot digger. Uh, the other one's a 52 and a half foot. Still a five section, meaning it folds out in five different sections. Pretty much run exactly the same as the other one. Only difference is it's a little bit, a little bit shorter, not quite as big. So get her all folded out. Make sure everything's gonna work on this one. Got the level, check the levelness of it. Hopefully everything goes good. That way we can get this field done tonight. Well, we got this other digger set. I uh, just had to run out there with the level, change a couple extensions. Uh, since the wheels on this tractor are a little bit bigger, we wanna make sure we're working those out. So we put an extension so it goes down an extra half inch so we're working this ground now hoping to get it done got both diggers out here so moving ground pretty quick based on my screen here it says i've already done 13 acres and it looks like we have about 146 acres to go i've been out here for 24 minutes and have four hours and 25 minutes to go both dad working on the same field as me it should go pretty quick so I would think this is only gonna take two hours. It's about 7.15 now, so hopefully it'll be done by 9.15 with this field. Because GPS works so good in these tractors, pretty much hands-free the whole time, going back and forth across the field, and then just gotta raise the digger up on the ends, make the light bulb turn back into the next track, and then I'm hands-free again. Also, since I'm using GPS to make it easier, again, on the tractor and be more efficient, I'm also using cruise control. So very similar to a, a car that you see over the road, uh, there's cruise control in these tractors. So I just set my cruise control. Right now I'm going 6.4 miles an hour. And I just hit a, a little button down here, the cruise control button, one and two. And then it automatically sets the speed and adjusts which gear I need to be in, similar to uh, when cars switch from a manual to an automatic transmission. That's what I'm doing here, turning my manual transmission tractor into an automatic transmission tractor. So that way it automatically figures out which gear should be in and it's running the most fuel efficient at that rate. Between the GPS and the cruise control, uh, I as the operator just kind of look out look for rocks, see if I see anything that's out of place out ahead or behind me on the digger. Um, a lot of times when I'm in the cab, I also have the radio on. So this one actually has Apple CarPlay, this 9R, which I really, really like. So I can connect to my phone, listen to music, uh, podcast, make phone calls. Just one of the many things I like about this 9R cab when doing hours and hours of tillage on end. This field's working good. Uh, as you can tell, some dust is flying out behind us, which is a good sight to see. I was thinking earlier about how this field is actually been in our family for five generations. This farm here used to be my great grandpa's brother's farm. Him and my great grandpa used to farm together. And then it got sold off at one point away from our family and my parents purchased it at an auction a couple years back. So kind of interesting, this farm wasn't our family and then it 
got sold to a different family and now it's back in our family. So it's, it's a super convenient farm because it's just a half mile away from where all of our machine sheds are and our grain storage. So just a cool thought and interesting fact about this farm. We're about 40 acres in on this farm. So sun's going down, figured I better check the depth, make sure that's looking good before it gets dark out. But more importantly, better take a thumbnail for you guys, the viewers. Sun's setting, got the beautiful 9R tractor. Figured what better time than to get a picture of this beast with that beautiful sunset. Before the picture, we're gonna check the depth. So we'll come here behind the wheel track, move some away with the boot. Looks like it's a good three inches down. So it's good there. We'll check it one more spot over here or this wheel. Got good depth there as well. So I would say the depth is good for this. So we should be set there. Here's the tractor we got pulling it. It's a 9R 540. So the 9R is the series. The 540 means the number of horsepowers this thing has. It's a 2022. Um, as well as the field cultivator. As I mentioned earlier, that's 44 and a half feet wide. Look at that sunset with this picture. I mean, just, just look at that. Here's the hardest part of the whole job, is trying to manually drive and keep off of that ditch, but also work all the ground. So to do that, I gotta manually drive the steering wheel, so I kinda pick a spot ahead of me, look over the shoulder every once in a while, see them in the ditch, which ain't great, but just this is the hardest part, just keeping a straight line and staying tight up across the grassway. Dad finished up about the same time I did. He's right in front of me, we're heading home. So, so that's going to be it for today's video of High Tech Farmer. Thanks so much everyone for watching and we'll see you in the next one.